Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Today we're back on the road to C25. It's a Thursday hero day in Clash of Province. And of course, whenever I pick up at least 10 super recruitment tickets, then I do a quick video to see what we are doing, what we are gaining from the heroes in our road to C25 account. So the account is now at C21, did that upgrade on Tuesday. Hope you've caught that video for those of you that are following the upgrades. And let's activate our 100% Clash of Province bonus score right now and go into the recruitment. Now, at this early stage in the game, you know, you just want, for me, I would say in the first couple of months, you do want to be using your um, orange tickets on the recruitment Thursdays on these uh, normal super recruitment banners that you see here, this super recruitment. So you can try and get some orange heroes. That is, you know, you need to be getting probably like six, at least having two decent legions full of orange heroes would be good to start with. And of course, you've got to try and get awaken a duplicate so you can awaken that six skill for them. So that's going to be key. Um, so we've activated our 100% bonus. Let's get our free tickets out of the way. Okay, nothing amazing there. That's fine. So we've got, um, because we've got 10 tickets, we can do the batch, which gives you 11 tickets and it guarantees you an epic or legendary hero. So purple uh, guarantees you at least a purple. You don't always get an orange, unfortunately. So let's see if we pick up anything. A North Rage. There we go. That's a good start. Are we going to get a double pull? Centurion, White Knight, Iron Guard, Amazonian, Apprentice. Okay, orange. Uh, so we we get one orange. That's absolutely great. Um, of course, using your Clash of Province bonus is going to help you get towards that third chest as well. Um, doing eleven super recruitment tickets does give you a fair amount of points. I'm already at two point four million points for the hourly as well. And I've got some purple tickets to use. When we look at North Rage, so you can see already in the account I had Hurricane, Demon Spear, Orochi, and Dual Blades. And uh, so North Rage is a new hero. He's a front row hero who has really nice defensive stats. He has extra HP on his seventh skill. He gives his troops extra HP on his sixth skill as well if you can awaken him. He is a front row hero. Um, who works well with all troop types. So um, if you get him in the early stages of the game, that's going to be a really good addition to your to your Legion, to your account. Um, I also actually do already have duplicates for Orochi and Hurricane. So I need to up level them up as quickly as possible. So um, what you want to do is focus on one hero at a time and try and get them up to level 35 as quickly as possible so that you can awaken them and get that maximum troop count so it's better to just focus on one so it looks like yes okay great so we've got orochi up to uh, level 35 as well in this video so you can unlock this six skill so you can see here on the awaken skill you need a duplicate medal of that hero and then you're going to need 10 blue medals which is fine i've got a ton of these and there we go, that is Arushi Awakened as well. So now you want to be, so currently let's have a look how I'm, okay, I've got a few, I'm sure I've still got quite a few points to use in this hour. Yeah, 700,000. So remember, be smart with your points as well, guys. Just maximize, um, maximize your returns by just going up to three. If the, if the third hourly chest is 3.7 million, don't go too far beyond that so that you can use your resources to accumulate points on a different hour. Maybe you'll only get to the second chest, but it's about getting the best return on investment that you can from the uh, resources and uh, consumables that you're expending. So uh, let's go back into Orochi. Actually, let's check Let's check the um, Legion size at the moment. So right now, um, Orochi can put, uh, well, that's, gonna, that's already increased it up to 30,000. It's out gathering at the moment anyway. Uh, so that's for an extra 4,300 troops in the Legion just by awakening. And then um, let's use some of our Wisdom Medals. So I've got 1,470 to use. So that's quite nice. I think that's probably going to be it. So I've got that up to level 6. Oh no, I can go a little bit more on the hourly challenge yet. So 
So this is key. You want to be just unlocking, uh, you want to be focusing on this skill one and this skill six to maximize your troop count, guys. That is really key. Ah, perfect. Okay, so we've hit third chest on the daily rewards as well. So you can see you get a really nice 2,000 gems, 1.1 million gold, one super recruitment ticket again. So that's how I've been accumulating so many super recruitment tickets. I'm hitting this third rewards chest nearly every day. And I'm able to do that because I focused all my courage medals into zone commemoration to upgrade that as quickly as I could. Get some wisdom medals, courage, more courage medals, hero tokens, some um, material chests, and then also, you know, these vital resources that we're scrambling for to get our upgrades on our storage between C21 and C22. Some training speed ups, always nice as well. And in the hourly challenge, there we go. I've just gone 60,000 over the third rewards chest, but that's fine. That's pretty good. And I've done used my 100% bonus at the end of the hour so that whatever it is in the next hour, I'll benefit from points there so I can get more of the daily chests. So it's always important if you're at these early stages in the game, you use your 100% um, Clash of Province score bonus cards at the end of an hour so that the half an hour time span overlaps into the next hour so that you can then benefit from hopefully getting two lots of third rewards chests for the hourlies and maximizing your points on your daily Clash of Province. So let's go back into the legions and you can see now there's a massive, that's given me a massive increase in the capacity. Basically more than double now, I can fit 53,400 troops on this front row, which means I'll be doing quite a bit of training tomorrow um, on Friday on training day. So that is uh, recruitment. I do have um, a few more, I have purple tickets to use, but it's unlikely that I'm gonna pick up many, um, well, I probably won't pick up an orange hero. The chances are very, very low with those. Um, but in terms of the account as well, so C21 upgrade on, on Tuesday, I'm now really going to have to be upgrading my storage. So um, iron storage, that's gonna need an upgrade. I need 27 million uh, lumber for that. I've been gathering a lot of um, up marble as well because of so many um, upgrades require marble at this level. So I'm back up to 12 million in my front stock and I've got nearly 10 million now um, in my reserve stock ready to go. Iron, I'm doing okay. It's 22 million, but there's gonna I'm gonna need quite a few upgrades. I will be using some of my gems on um, the epic scavenger chests, which are these ones here, um, so that I can hopefully get some purple gathering gear, which will obviously scavenger gear, which will increase the attributes of of my legions when they're gathering. Um, I will work maybe a little bit on my iron mines upgrading these all to 20 or maybe 21 because they do just need food and I've got quite I've got 70 million food so I've got a nice buffer of that at the moment one of the killer things is that I got to upgrade my food storage uh, to the last level on the food storage too which is 24 million iron and 13 million marble um, I will probably focus on doing that first just to get it out of the way and um, once my my class legion is currently out um, at a national quest, but when it comes back, I'm going to try and uh, raid some of my main farms as well, uh, which are next to me. I'll send my troops out, and um, I should be able to then raid from some of these guys like Pom Farm 3 or Pom Farm 5. They're right next to me. Um, all of those accounts have plenty of lumber in them, which is, again, a key resource I need. Um, they don't have loads of iron, but I might take a bit of iron out of them as well, which is... Definitely will take marble as well, to be honest. That's gonna help uh, get these storage upgrades going and accelerate my um, development on this castle so I can get to C22 as quickly as possible. Uh, so there we go, guys. Uh, that is just a, a, a nice quick Road to C25 video showing you how um, you know recruitment's gonna go for you at the earlier stages of the game, the kind of key focuses you want to have on these days uh, and how you want to use your wisdom medals so you're upgrading it's all about troop count maximizing your troop count um, by increasing skills one to six and one and six first if you get duplicates for your heroes getting those heroes up to level 35 so i hope you've enjoyed the video and you're enjoying the road to c25 if you are why not click on that like and please do pop your comments down below on how you're developing your accounts i'll be really 
interested to hear what you're doing or if you're doing anything different to how I'm developing this account. And of course, if this is one of the first videos that you're watching on the channel, then why not click on that subscribe and ring the bell so you can get not notifications whenever I'm dropping videos on the channel, which is daily. And if you could please share my channel in your Alliance chat, province chat and through Lime WhatsApp via Discord, that would be absolutely great. I cover every kind of element in the game from um, Clash of Province, Reign of Chaos, Eden Seasons, recruit fun recruitment videos, this, the Road to C25, obviously, with castle upgrades, research, uh, you name it, I'm trying to do it. So um, thank you so much for watching. That's it for now, and I'll see you soon.